Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, while loop. So previous video we discussed about for loop, right? So we also made some examples. So in this video, same example will convert to while loop. So first let's see the while loop syntax. So while loop syntax is going to be, oh, I, I think I removed it, yeah. This is for loop syntax, let me delete all the things. That is for loop syntax. Uh, let's start with while loop syntax. So while loop syntax is, is uh, first you have to make the initialization, you have to initialize the value and then you can make um, while okay inside inside of the while you will write a condition. In the condition after condition satisfy you can make some statements after that you will write increments or decrements and this always last line okay fine that's it so here this also can be used it for looping same like for loop you can choose either your choice you can use for loop and while loop but i'm just explaining while loop how it works so first initialization then while check the condition if the condition success go and executing all the statements after finishing off all the statements here what happening it increments so same increments here and if increments again check the condition printed increment check the condition printed increment check the condition printed uh, it's same looks like a four right see first initialization check the condition statements uh, i mean initialization condition Print it, increment, condition, statements, increment, condition, statement. Same here. First initialization, check the condition. Here also check the condition. Then what? Execute the statements. Here also execute a statement. After statement, what do? Increment. Here, here is a increment. Next line. And after increments, check the condition. It again check the condition. Again, statements. Increments. Here also increment. And again check the condition. Statements. Increment. Check the condition. Statements. Increment check the condition statements increment same story right so let's see um, how to write a for loop um, sorry uh, what I do is shall we do one thing I will make I create another JavaScript file because why to create a separate folder I create a new JavaScript file so right click new JavaScript what I do is um, it, it was app.js right so let's say while while.js okay so my javascript file is while.js now let me comment this existing app.js but i will make connection to uh, src while.js okay fine uh, if you see the output nothing is there because in while.js nothing no no output okay so now here let's start with a while loop so first example i want to do is same uh, previously what we have done to bring the value 0 to 10 right so print the values from 0 to 10 so how to print the values from 0 to 10 using while um, and uh, you can take a difference is one um, here you will write initialization first so let i is equal to 0 i value starts from 0 initialization first you can imagine the syntax initialization condition statements increment and decrement always last otherwise it go to infinite loop so you must write increment or decrement okay um, so while condition condition is going to be i uh, less than or equal to 10 then let's print console dot uh, log of i and always remember increments so i plus plus and then um, that's it yep let's check yeah see it spins the value 0 1 2 3 4 up to 10 but i don't want to print uh, one after the other i want to print in a same line you have to use a string um i say let results is equal to empty string um what i do is instead of console log so result plus is equal to back tick uh, i i value space oh, what happens you get 
so I have to print it next uh, console dot log of result you get the answer 0 1 2 up to 10 if you want comma you can add comma you got a comma but if you don't want comma after 10 you have to write if condition same like previous you can cut this if i value is um, up to 9 so less than or equal to 9 up to 9 print with comma else don't add a comma okay this is a while loop. So can you check you get the answer 0 to 10 so let me explain the flow here i value 0 i less than or equal to 10 condition success we check again this condition if it is success add the value with the comma so 0 comma after this finish no need of this one it go and execute a i plus plus because all the statement has to be executed in the while loop right after this i plus plus then go and check the condition because condition is still success so two less than or, uh, sorry one less than or equal to 10 success this success so one comma next increment condition three comma four comma five comma nine nine less than or equal to nine comma and then i value 10 so 10 less than or equal to 10 yes but here 10 no fails here so it is friends 10 no comma and then 11 it check the condition fails come out okay that's how the flow executes of while loop here so let's make another example print print the values from 20 to 0 with the differences 2 so let me take a result as empty all right um, yeah initialization again so i say i equal to 20 because i'm not using let again because it's already declared on the outside uh, here i write while condition so i greater than or equal to 0 i'll make if i value greater than 0 then add with the comma so result plus equal to backtick dollar of i sorry dollar of i and just add a comma okay looks good else don't add a comma so just just print it as it is no comma and finally you have to say console dot log of result so you get the answer oh it's gone to infinite loop something went wrong um i value 20 greater than or equal to zero uh once again some problem close it yeah it sometimes it goes to infinite loop if you are writing a condition something wrong i value 20 i is greater than or equal to zero yes if it is greater than 10 print it oh you are not made a i minus is equal to 2 okay because you must have to decrement otherwise keep on repeating the same statements right so it's always see if you don't write this line what happened 20 20 greater than or equal to 0 success print it but no decrement or increment so what happened i value will be remain same so 20 so 20 is greater than or equal to 0 for infinite number of times so that's why it's keep looping on uh the statement okay so so make sure you have to write this end of the line okay so don't forget otherwise it goes to the infinite loop infinite loop means is your browser will stuck and uh, your system will stuck after some time okay so make sure you write this and uh, yeah i think it's fine looping statements console yeah i got it uh same example of uh, uh for loop right I do is instead of writing from the scratch I'll copy everything okay I copy all this I'll paste in the while loop, the remaining uh, examples what are those here print starts okay so to print starts we use actually for loop inside for loop you have to convert this while loop inside a while loop so how to do that is see let's convert this only to while loop okay easy process um, so first of all what I do is uh, I value is equal to one initialization then this is not required and then uh, 
what else um, condition so while condition condition is what this one paste it and then this is always end right so one for loop done and then another for loop. whatever is there inside keep it inside okay but thing is uh, yes I got uh, starts because it is while loop okay uh, but thing is I don't need this for I want this also while so what do you do uh, you can just cut let j paste it um, while while let's make a condition j less than or equal to i and then j plus plus that's always last line inside the statements is this one you don't need a for okay so you have a while loop inside a while loop. can you check the output yes you got a same output same way I have to make for these things um, see here this uh, observe closely here first initialization see first initialization condition statements increment so the same thing I'm just making as a while um, here I value one so this is gone next condition so I write while condition condition watch I less than or equal to 5 and then I plus plus okay so in between what statements are there these are the statements we don't need a for loop fine and then this one I want to modify so I say initialization you can just cut the initialization keep it and let's make a while here so j less than or equal to i and cut the j plus plus inside you write a result paste it you don't need a for loop okay so you check you will get the same answer like this you want to make a space you can make a space over here okay like this fine now let's convert this um this is same right this is same as this one but only replace with i i'll do one thing i'll copy everything from here only replace this with i right yeah this is i so you get the same answer one one two two three three fine and then uh, reverse this one i have to write from the scratch i value phi so don't write let again because it's already declared outside so next uh, i write while while i'll make i this one next uh, i minus minus cut this keep it next uh, inside i just cut out this one and keep it here because increment or decrement always last next uh, I have to convert this for loop also so cut the initialization keep it outside check the while with the condition so j less than or equal to i j plus plus always last it means before that you have to type something called result and I don't need a for so check it out and I want to make a space then um, you have got same thing here uh, so exactly same like this you have to replace with i so uh, simply copy this part and um, replace here you just make it as i okay so you get the answer like this 5544 five, four. if you make it 9 i value 9 what happens you get like this 9988 eight, like that okay so i just make it 5 okay okay so we have made actually we have converted for loop to while loop but you must have to write from the scratch okay so this is about a while loop it looks something uh, complex uh, but no worry if you try to understand the flow of execution is quite simple okay but you may come across uh, uh, while loop inside while loop inside while loop like three four five loops also will be there uh, but if you can practice this one is enough 
and so thank you so much and we'll meet in the next video we'll start with the do while so one more uh, way of writing uh, uh, looping statements in javascript is do while so we'll see that one in the next video thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you mm -hmm.